Have you ever heard of children's books being compared to a cup of coffee? I know, me neither, until recently. A few months ago, my team's book club read The Enchanted Hour by Megan Cox Gordon. I wanted to share with you this piece of wisdom. Reading to children during the first three years of life gives them more of exactly what they need. More loving, adult attention, more language, more opportunities to experience mutual engagement and empathy. Picture books enhance the time parents and children spend together. It's like adding an extra shot of espresso to a cafe latte. One cup, extra Hi, zing. I'm Rosemary Willis, and I'm a leader with Osborne Books and More. I'm a speech language pathologist turned stay-at-home mom to three kids, five and under. So, as you can imagine, the coffee analogy really caught my eye. In a culture that's undergoing what's been called the big disconnect, many of us are grappling with the effects of screens and devices, machines that enhance our lives and at the same time make it harder to concentrate and to retain what we've seen and read, and alarmingly easy to be only half present, even with the people we love most. In this distracted age, we need to change our understanding of what reading aloud is and what it can do. It is not just a simple, cozy, nostalgic pastime that can be taken up or dropped without consequence. It needs to be recognized as the dazzlingly transformative and even countercultural act that it is. Everyone knows that reading to kids is important, but the emotional piece of reading is just as important. In my house, we have a reading rule that when one of our kiddos comes to us and says, read this book to me, we drop what we're doing and we read. This is teaching them that reading is important, yes, but it's also teaching them to love reading, to love reading who you're with, and to feel safe and to feel inspired when you curl up with someone you love and you open a book and you discover a new world. Yes, they will learn fluency and reading comprehension and all the things that are tested for in school. But first, they need to feel safe and loved while reading. And that's what we're doing in my house. I hope you can read too with your kiddos and find some wonderful books to share with you.